Now at 5.30, some changes could be on the way for how vehicles are taxed in Rhode Island. Residents could actually end up paying less for excise tax. A local lawmaker is proposing a bill that would change the way car value is assessed for taxes. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has the new details live in the control room now. We've seen similar legislation proposed before, but this time there's a new twist, and one representative believes we will see this bill become a law. It depends. If State Representative Joseph McNamara gets his way, you'll be paying less for your car tax. It really is an unfair tax. McNamara has reintroduced legislation that would gradually change the way cars are assessed for taxes from the clean retail value to trade in value. For the past several years, similar plans haven't worked because many local leaders said they couldn't afford to lose revenue from car taxes. But under McNamara's new plan, the state would pick up the slack. I've eliminated the problem that the League of Cities and Towns has continually complained about by phasing it in over three years and reimbursing the cities and towns for the monies that they lose as we phase in this new valuation method. Is this something the state can afford? I believe that there's political will. Scott Avedesian is the mayor of Warwick, one of the largest cities in the state. We asked him about the proposed law. He says he needs more information. A hold harmless provision, um, I don't know how much that would cost the state, and that might be very difficult to accomplish. McNamara tells us he does not have an estimate for what his car tax plan would cost the state. A spokesperson for House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello says it's too early to say whether the speaker would support this legislation. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.